So a while ago I found this whilst I was helping my dad tidy up some bits and pieces around his house. This is a cyclone cartridge that he built about probably 30 years ago. And this is a device that plugs in between your external floppy drive and allows you to make backup copies of some, I don't believe it worked on everything, but some original protected Amiga games. So what better way to spend a day off than to mess around, give it a try, see if it works. So that's what we're going to do today. So the game that we're going to try and duplicate is Turrican, one of my favourites. And to avoid focusing on this flickering screen, I'm going to turn that off. And we're going to use the LCD screen. So first of all, I've got to boot my kickstart disc. So firstly, I thought I'd try and make a copy of the of the game just using XCopy without the dongle to see what happens if we try and just make a normal XCopy duplicate. Um, but first, let's just see how the game starts up and then we can see if it's working correctly or not. I didn't bother hooking up the sound, so we won't hear anything through this screen, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so we know that this uh, this disc boots and it works, so let's see how far we get with a normal copy. Okay, let's put in the next copy. Okay, so we're going to put Turrican in DF0 and the blank disc in DF1, the external. And we'll just try and normal copy. So we're getting the dreaded red number straight away. Okay, 12 minutes and 11 seconds. Xcopy did not like that at all. So let's swap the discs over and see what happens when we try and run the disc. Nothing. Nope, absolutely nothing. Doesn't even attempt to make a copy. So I'm just wondering if, will it make any difference if we try and run XCopy Nibble? Let's just have a quick try of that. Should really format the disc, I guess, but I'm not gonna bother. I imagine this is gonna take just as much time, if not longer, so let's see.
Okay, that was actually a lot quicker. Let's see if that's made any difference. Let's swap those over. Nope, no difference whatsoever. Okay, so X copy has failed to produce a bootable copy of this game, this disc. So we're going to plug in the Cyclone cartridge now. So this just goes in between the external drive and the machine, the Amiga, like this. And as far as I know, this is just a bunch of wires that cross over some of the lines. And I'm not really sure how it works, but I believe it's got something to do with the synchronization of the motors and things like that so uh, it kind of creates an analog copy and i guess that means it'll ignore or or copy the protection as well but let's plug this in and see what happens okay so we'll try the booting it up with cyclone this time Ah, oh. oh, I need the kickstart disc first because I've had the power off. Okay, now I can try the X-Copy disc. Okay, so this time I'm going to go F2 for Cyclone 1103. Okay, let's give it a go. Let's try to drive speed check, see what happens. Nope. Guess that means they're running at almost the same speed. the disc first maybe I should do that here <sighs> wipe the disc in DFR okay Some reason to wipe the disc in DF1, there had to be a disc in DF0, that's strange. Now the LED is actually lit up for DF0 at the same time, maybe it's because it's keeping them synchronised. Interesting. Standard nibble mode, let's give it a try. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh no, it didn't work. Okay, guess we step up to deep nibble. Okay, so we've wiped the disc again. Let's try now in deep nibble mode.
Okay, so that's finished finally. Let's swap these over and see what happens. Okay, so that's finished. So let's swap these over and see if that's made any difference. A bit further this time. Can we get as far as the title screen? Oh, yeah, title screen's up. Let's see if the game will start. Wow. So the only problem is now I've got to sit here and play it for a while, see how far it goes, see if it works all the way to the end. Amazing. And the only problem back in the day with this Cyclone cartridge is that I actually didn't know that many people who had that many original games for the Amiga. But it's still a fun retro experiment. Okay, so the second loading sequence is coming up. Brilliant, it's looking good. Okay, so I can put that cartridge back in my drawer and maybe I'll try it again in another 30 years. <laughs> 